Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on a MacBook Pro. I know that it's hard for you to see. My screen is entirely black, but trust me, the computer is on. That touch bar, I the, the sensor on a touch bar is lit up. And if you pay a close attention to my bottom left, uh, bottom right corner, I apologize. Uh, there was an impact point here at the bottom right corner which shattered the screen and entirely screen would just turn black. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll walk you through step by step from start to finish without skipping or editing this video so that you can see the entire process on how to do the screen replacement. Right now I'm pressing and holding down the power button. You can see that the touch bar just went off. That means the computer is shut down. And let's go ahead and identify the model. So we know we are talking the same model here. You can see that it says A2338. So that is the model of this MacBook Pro. Before we continue, I just want to kind of walk you through what are the tools that you need to have in order to continue with the repair. You definitely need to have torque. It's going to be three torque screw driver torque 3 uh, t8 t5 and t3 so torque 3 5 and 8 and you do need to have a pantalope pantalope p5 and pantalope p2 1.2 mm 0.8 mm all right the first thing we need to use pantalope p5 and remove the screw and the back cover so let me kind of zoom in a little bit. At least everybody get to see the details in the process. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove that screw. Now the screws are not the same in size. So when you remove the screw, making sure that um, you know where the screws came from. My best advice for you is probably you might want to... Um, Take a picture of the computer right before you, you remove the screws. Take a picture of it and print out that piece of picture. When you print out the, the picture in a paper, when you're removing the screws, you can place the screw on the piece of paper so that it gives a reference where the screw came from. So you know where to put them back afterwards. All right, once you have removed two screws on the top, left and right and four screws at the bottom now the next step is to pry open the back cover so i'm using a very skinny prying tool kind of go underneath that back cover right there okay now there is no screw in the center in the middle so what what it does you need to pop that little clicker so on that on that right center there's no clicker here maybe am i zooming too much okay so there's no screw here that means it's a clicker that's holding it down uh, so what i'm doing right now is just separating the back cover by popping the back cover up and then slide slide this back cover down okay we'll slide it down okay let me repeat again the clicker is on the side which is click onto the computer, right? There are two in the middle and then two on the side. To remove it, you need to open and separate that little clicker. Once you have removed it, you can see that here is a bracket that slides into the computer, just slides in. So to remove it, you're gonna slide out. That's the, that's the whole process. Okay, next step, remove this little tape. Be very careful with that. Remove the plastic cover. And you want to use a plastic prying tool. Peel that little tape back to expose that little clicker and flip open that clicker. Okay, once you open up the clicker, you can now slide the cable to your left to remove it. Get yourself a T5. Remove that one screw and disconnect the battery. Simple as that. Okay, now the battery is disconnected. We can move on to the next 
step. I'm going to start from left to right. So from left to right, we're going to go through the two screws here. I'll be using a T3 torque 3. Again, take a picture of the internal part of the computer. Maybe, yeah. Okay, take a picture of it, print it out, that piece of paper, and then as you remove the screws, uh, lay it down where it belongs. Okay, remove that too. Now come back to the rest of this one. You'll be using a Pentalope P2, which is the 0 0.8. That's the size of the uh, five little star-shaped pentalope screw. Driver, remove that screw here. Uh, that is for your Wi-Fi. In other words, you have to be very careful by removing it because that little Wi-Fi is very small. The screw is really tiny. Just make sure that you have a right screwdriver, the right tools. And then when you turn that screw, make sure you have a good grip, making sure that the screw is eating that screwdriver, is eating that screw good as you turn it, okay? Once you have removed all that, let's go ahead and jump um, back onto the T8. I apologize. This is my first time doing everything from left to right. I usually work on uh, pieces by pieces, but today I feel like maybe explaining from left to right so that uh, maybe things are easier. We'll give it, another, give it a try. It's my first time doing it. Uh, T8. So I'm kind of going backwards a little bit. Um, once you remove the, the plastic bracket, you should use the T8, but Oh well. Anyway, okay, remove that, right? So we remove the plastic, remove the three screws on the hinge, remove the Wi-Fi, the small screws. Now we're going to work on the black one here. I'll be using a T5, torque T5. That is for that. Another torque T5 on this one here. I'm going to jump back to these two screws. Torque T3. Okay, I'm going to remove these two screws here. and remove the bracket, this little metal bracket. And remove these two screws here. Remove the bracket. I'm gonna remove these two screws here. Okay, I'm done with that. I'll be changing up to a T5. I'll be remove this two screw, which is holding down to the uh, LCD board. Okay, once you have removed four screws, right? Remember one, two, three, and four. Now the LCD board comes free. Uh, come loose before you remove anything. This is the LCD connector. You need to disconnect them. 
they're kind of like lego they snap onto the board to remove it i'm just using a plastic prying tool and pry it open therefore the lcd board now is free and good to go here you're going to have the uh, the wi-fi is hidden right underneath here so what you want to do is peel that little plastic off just peel it right off you can just leave it if you want using a t5 remove that screw once you have done with that i use the pointy part of the plastic prying tool and pry it open so the wi-fi cable is just like a two little circle that sits on top of each other to remove it you just simply lift it up once you have done with that we're going to come back here with the pentalope p2 remove one two three four five six screws and off the wi-fi antenna Okay, once I've done with that, get back to a T3. Gonna remove these two screws. Remove the plastic cover. Get a T8. Remove the three screws holding down the hinge. Of your LCD screen. Once you're done with that process, what you want to do is to open up the computer. So I'm separating the computer screen. While you're opening up all the way to the back, you can now slide it up. And the same on the other side, slide it up. Then the entire LCD screen should come right off. Oops, I apologize. I went too fast. Let's put it back in. I apologize. Do not do that yet. So I'm going to slide the screen back. Apologize, apologize. I went too fast. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to um, remove my Wi-Fi antenna. So I apologize. Once you remove that last screw, do not remove anything yet. Do not remove the screen yet, okay? What you want to do is um, kind of push this little Wi-Fi and peel it straight up, okay? Up towards um, the sky, the ceiling. And then once you pull it up, this Wi-Fi cable is slide into this little small hole so you got to slide it out just like that okay but remove the wi-fi antenna first who thank god i caught it before too late but anyway uh once that is done so go back to the same process open up the screen and then slide up the uh, hinge and slide up on the other side then the whole screen will just come right off. Once you're done with that process, here's my replacement screen. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen from, go check out the link down in the description below. I'll link it to Amazon or eBay where you can buy the tools as well as the replacement screen. And you can, hopefully you can do your own repair and save you some money. All right, so this is the screen LCD board. What you want to do is making sure that the flex cable is going to be sitting on top of the laptop. Not in the laptop, but on top of the laptop. What I mean by that is making sure your hinge is pushed back, okay? Both of the 
hinge on the new screen is pushed all the way to the back. And then while what I mean by that is making sure that the LCD board and the flex cable is sitting on top of the, the laptop, okay? Sitting on top of it, and while this thing is sitting up, you want to slide the hinge back on one side and then slide it back in on the other side. While the screen is still loose, double check making sure that the cables are not pinched or clipped because you do not want to have a pinch LCD cable. Okay, making sure everything is, is not pinched down. While the screen is still open at certain angle, what you like to do is to put one screw here to, to hold it down so I can close the screen. Okay, I just put one screw there. And I'm gonna put another screw on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna put a screw on this side here. So one screw on each side of the screen and I can close it down. Okay, once the computer is, the screen is closed, I want to come back and finish the rest of it. Installing the three more screws here. Okay, I'm going to go back from right to left. Hopefully that helps your memory, uh, the memory muscle. Or you remove it, going back. Now before we do that, oops, again, I keep forgetting. Trying new stuff is always different. I, that's not my usual way of doing screen replacement. So trying new stuff makes me try to think, talk the same time and do the repair is, is challenging. Okay, so this is the Wi-Fi antenna. And then the two little cable, what you wanna do is you're gonna stick it in through that hole right there, like so. Okay, stick it through it, making sure that the connector is above on top of the motherboard. Keep coming until you see that final metal matches that uh, Wi-Fi screw. Once you have done with that, go ahead and gently push it down. So that is a little clicker right there. Push it down to hold the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, once you have done with that process, before I move on to the next, again, I try to like I like to do this the reverse process from right to back to left. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to have this little bracket. Slide it in. And the T3, fork 3, screwdriver, and the two screws. Back in. Okay, next one, Pentalo P2. So for those of you who strip the screw for some reason when you remove it and you strip the screw, you're in panic mode, you do not know what to do. Well, don't worry because I make a separate video on how to remove a strip screw on a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air anything that has to do with that Wi-Fi antenna that runs on the 0 0.8. So go ahead and check out that video. Hopefully it helps you to remove the strip screw that you just made. A, please do not tie it so hard the Wi-Fi antenna is not going to fall off, right? You have so many screws holding that tiny little piece of the thing. 
it's not going to fall off and you have the back cover to close it so i do not know why they have so many screws but anyway anyway it's not the problem for today this is the wi-fi antenna that's the connector again i stress this not in, i do not stress this enough what i'd like you guys to do is take your time be patient make sure you align the connector carefully okay the circle is supposed to sit on top of each other and gently push it in it doesn't take any force or any strength to push it in all it takes is just a little tap and it goes in if it's not going in that means that circle is not sitting in the right position all you have to do is spend the time aligning them properly and you'll be good this is the wi-fi screw that i just put it in that is the t5 i'm using a t5 okay now the two wi-fi antenna is inserted correctly now i can close that little tape cover the thing up okay let's go ahead and talk about the lcd board that lcd board here using a t5 and put the screw back one and two okay now for this what you want to do is you want to tuck it in so push this one back like tuck it in like this okay so tuck it in it should be holding down like just like that while you're still holding it down use a torque t3 and the final screw is here bottom right and the second screw which is holding down the bracket bottom left okay one and two once you have done with that process go ahead and finish up the uh, connector that is the lcd screen connector close it back again just like lego make sure you align them properly and it will snap back on together so do not force it in t3 bracket on top two screws back on holding that cable bracket back on top holding the connector and two tiny screw back on t3 coming to the next T5, the two screw holding the LCD board, one and two. Once you have done with that, this flex cable here, again, you want to go and tuck it in, just like that, tuck it underneath. Okay, while the thing is still biting it and holding it down, get yourself a T3 and do not forget the two screws, bottom right, holding down the flex cable and then there's one here at the bottom left. If you find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Okay. Now I'm using a Pentalo P2 0.8. The tiny little screw needs this tiny little screwdriver. Be patient with it. Do not rush. And you don't have to tighten it super tight. Just enough to bite and grip onto the Wi-Fi. That should be enough.
if you're still following along so far without any issue great we are very close to done okay once you have done with that process get yourself a t8 the t8 is to put the big giant screw holding down the hinge and then the plastic cover go back on top of it and the two tiny little screw using a t3 Okay, once you've done with that, come back here, get a T5, put the screw back, we're going to closing up the battery. Now making sure that the connector is open. So this little connector here, there's a clipper, the clipper needs to be open, making sure that the clipper is open. Now once the clipper is open, you can slide that cable. back into the connector take your time i know it's not easy okay once you're in that position you might want to uh, once it's in right now you might want to use this little plastic a little leverage for you to pull that cable gently very gently pull it to your right making sure it reach all the way at the end of the connector and then push the clipper down to secure and clip it okay so there's a black cable just push it down and put the tape over okay once you have done with that process we are pretty much almost finished okay the connect the the back cover you just have to align it like such remember the metal that you have to slide it in so go ahead and tilt a little bit just a gently tilt and just kind of push it in and slide it all the way in okay making sure it reach all the way to the end in a position i fail to do that so let me remove it reposition again on both sides you have to make sure the both sides are in though not just one side both of them have to be in at the same time Okay, it's in, it's in. Once both of them is in, you want to press here, have the little clicker in the center to click it back in and get yourself a Pentalo P5 and finish up the rest of the screws. And I'll turn on the screen and show it to you guys. Hopefully everything is fixed and I will have a working screen. And again, I just wanted to point it out to you. If you're not sure where to buy the screen replacement from, please check the link down description below. I'll link you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen. And that screen would help you and the tools to maybe change out the screen and save you some money. And if you want to show appreciation, let's go ahead and turn on the and um, let's go ahead and turn on the computer um, if you find this video is helpful okay if you find this video is helpful um, all i'm asking is just a smash of a like button for me i really appreciate you for smashing the like button uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe and um yeah and if you want to show me an appreciation uh, please click on the super thanks the super thanks allow you to um, donate any money that you want to support my channel to support the work i do and um yeah do not forget the super thanks youtube super thanks at the bottom all right i think it needs a charger um i forgot to tell you that so let me go bring the charger i know that i want to make this mm-hmm 
Let me see. I have a charger. Hopefully, it's close by. Um, I don't think it's that far away. Let me get the charger. So I have the charger here. Uh, let me go find the outlet. Push it in and plug it in. There you go. For some reason, when you disconnect the battery, you have to have the charger to plug it in to power up the very first time. Once a computer is powered up the first time, then it is fine. Uh, the next the next step you can just do it without without it all right good so i have a little sticker here cover up the name i do not want to expose the name uh, of my client as you can see that the touch bar here is back to normal and it's working i just turn the screen all the way dim and turning it back on and i have the volume going up and down okay and I'm just going to shut down the computer. Let me... Press the shutdown button. Okay, so the computer is shutting down. And that's it. About half an hour, 30 minutes. You get your screen replaced. And hopefully save you some money. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.